The world's oceans are a vital resource, providing jobs, food and economic stability for coastal communities around the globe. Local governments work together to regulate the fishing industry by protecting habitats and ensuring the future of replenishable stocks. But these global stocks are still in decline. So what's happening? Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing accounts for 20% of all global fishing activity. This type of fishing happens all around the world and equates to 26 million tonnes of fish which is worth over $23 billion each year. What can we do? What is going to save our oceans is not in the water. It's in the skies above. Space gives us a broader context of what is happening here on Earth. At MDA, we believe seeing is believing. Using satellites from space gives us an opportunity to see all the different things that are happening on Earth, whether it be illegal activity or climate change factors. Fishing is a big problem. It's the, it's the largest human activity at sea. Almost a third of the world's fishing stocks are overfished, and of the remaining two thirds, most of them are fished to capacity. This causes a real problem when it comes to driving a sustainable ocean economy. The process of detecting and catching perpetrators of IUU fishing is complex because of the lengths that they will go to to avoid detection. One of the main ways is to turn off any tracking systems that they may have, becoming so-called dark vessels. So you need to turn to other sources of data. And that's where synthetic aperture radar, like MDA provides, comes in to real utility. The radar penetrates through cloud and doesn't need visible light photons from the sun. Why this matters is like around coastal areas, tropical rainforests. It's so difficult to get an optical image because visible lights get absorbed by the water in the clouds. So you can't image it, you just see a bunch of white noise. MDA's Radar Sat 2 is by far the best instrument for understanding what is happening on the ocean. The ability to take wide scale satellite imagery and understand what's happening across tens of thousands of square kilometers is crucial to be able to do this cost effectively. We've worked with MDA in indirect ways, for instance, through the Canadian government and their dark vessel detection system. The MDA information there is used in a, in a more live, more uh, latent way, whereas the system that we've put in place with Global Fishing Watch using the MDA archive is far more historical for more information led in the sense of understanding the patterns of fishing historically. And they could start investigating as to like when certain policies or regulations get passed, that that actually change people's fishing behavior in that same area. For the future, we hope that we can then take more and more data and scale up these activities so that we can help any authority wherever they are in the world to enforce against illegal fishing. It's amazing the technology that we have today that uh, helps solve so many of those issues. That being said, could we be doing more? Yeah, right? And sometimes we don't know what more is if we don't have understanding of what these metrics look like. But the data and the technology is only one part of the story. If we're really gonna change what's happening on the sea, we need eyes in the sky and boots on the ground and ensure that the future of the ocean is a sustainable one.